Hello again Struck Club, today I'm bringing you another build video for Torchlight Frontiers and this one is for the Realmaster class and it's kind of a rework of my build from October that was called uh, Spike Drive Flash uh, so I decided to call this the Spike Driver 2.0 Realmaster build and uh, you can see in the description um, of the video the timestamps for the skills the pet skills, the relic skills, the gear and some more gameplay at the end which will be the segments in the video and the build is kind of mostly AOE centric but unlike my AOE master it's no longer using um, uh, ghost rain but like the spike driver it's using spike drive, it's using uh, busting charge, it's using uh, lantern flash as an active and as the tier 2 bonus that gives us the 65% damage to stunt, swat or uh, blinded enemies uh, and we're using hammer spin uh, again the tier 3 bonus is amazing for that skill uh, for the damage reduction and uh, I've decided to use uh, Bane or Electrode as the suggested relics or Flaming Destroyer I think those three relics go well with the setup but uh, my suggestion would be go for uh, Bane or, or the Electrode first for the procs but if you if you like fire if you like burning with the lantern flash the flaming destroyer is also a very good synergy so it depends whether you want more cooldown uh, or more damage uh, and whether you're gonna be spamming that relic active skill or whether you're gonna be focusing on your other abilities the synergy is uh, that first blasting charge makes the enemies take more damage and then with the passive from lantern flash and the swow uh, from uh, uh, spike drive or the stun from uh, from pound we can make the enemies take even more damage and that's amazing stacking of the damages you get that damage reduction from hammer spin which allows you to survive and you get that damage reduction from the passive uh, um, of blast charge for melee range now let's talk about the skills so for the skills uh, for this build you're gonna see two setups uh, on your screen which would be the level 31 I mean the level 30 setup and the level 60 setup uh, again keep in mind that those setups are when we are not uh, accounting for things that give you plus one to a certain skill like I have plus one bonus level on hammer spin and it's level 10 even though I've only spent nine points and it doesn't account for the cosmic set which can give you plus one or plus two to the slammer or the conductor three so uh, I'm gonna quickly go through the skills uh, and the levels that you would want for either of those setups and then uh, tell you why we're taking each skill so for the level 29 I'm gonna say 29 uh, setup because at level 30 instead of putting a second point in spike drive you would probably want to start putting into flamethrower car if you're using a relic active skill cooldown setup if you're spamming so you would want 6 points pound, 6 points blasting charge, uh, 10 points hammer spin, 6 points lantern flash, ignore this, this is, uh, I didn't have a spectacle to remove it, so ignore this point, this is 0 points, and 1 point spike drive, this puts you at 29 points, when you have 10 here, 6, 6, 6, and 1, uh, and that should put you at 29, and then you spent level 30's point here and then from level 30 all the way to 35 you put the other 5 points into flamethrower car and at level 35 you should have 6 points here, 6 here, 6 here, 6 here, 10 here and uh, and the rest in spike drive so yeah you probably have 1 point into spike drive because keep in mind I do have 1 bonus point which kind of negates this one here I guess and I'm 36 I'm not 35 so for the level 60 setup this remains 6 points this gets bumped into 10 points this gets bumped into 10 points this gets bumped into 10 points uh, and this would be the level 60 setup so I hope uh, oh yeah and one more thing this gets bumped into into 6 points that takes you to 58 points meaning you have 0 points here uh, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 skills of 10 points and then 1, 2, 
three six point skills again if you're using slammer items uh, um, like uh, the cosmic set that gives you the cosmic chest gives you with a set bonus plus two to slammer skills you can win points and you can end up getting the tier two endurance bonus on flying picks as well uh, if you're using the the slammer not the slammer but the conductor helmet you can maybe get this to level Four, but is it worth it just for two skill points so when you're not using any other conductor skills? That's something you have to decide for yourself. I personally wouldn't use it uh, if I have another helmet better road, maybe from another set or whatever, but uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, now let's quickly say why we're taking each skill. First, the major source of damage comes from Lantern Flash, 65% damage versus stunned, blinded and slowed targets at tier 2 and the tier 1 is blinding for 1 second. Combine this with the spike drive, 100% uh, chance to slow for 50% for 6 seconds, that's amazing. Then this one also at tier 1 has chance to stun, at tier 2 the slammer skill damage gets increased so all of those skills benefit from that and then at tier 3 that's extra damage and hitting twice at the center is just amazing. This one another super important and nice skill, it first gives us vulnerability to the enemies then with the plus 20% we make it uh, um, do even uh, more vulnerability so when you have the tier 1 bonus instead of 25 you get 30% vulnerability on the enemies so that 30% stacks with this 65 which is 95% extra damage that you're gonna be doing uh, uh, on the enemies uh, all together if that's how it works maybe it does work differently so this 65% uh, gets applied to the damage and the enemies take 30% more from the 65 uh, maybe that's how it works someone has to confirm if they've tested um, the damage reduction in melee combat is amazing and then the tier 3 bonus is also a great one and here comes the hammer spin setup it's amazing because first you can get 50% damage reduction shield for 6 seconds at tier 2. It also gives you the 6 uh, second movement speed bonus and the relic active skill damage if you like me like spamming the relic active skill often. Uh, then spike drive maxed out would be amazing because well it adds 4 missiles to spike drive. That by itself is a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles you can see right now it does like 5 I think, yeah 5 missiles, so that means that's gonna be 9 missiles and all those 9 missiles would be hitting uh, uh, enemies and maybe on a boss all, all 9 of them would be hitting at the same time and then the chance to retu return endurance is also super nice uh, and also firing that large missile straight ahead for double the skills current weapon damage would be good burst damage on bosses. Um, Torque Swing we're only taking for the passive eventually, which would be for the crit chance for slammer skills. Uh, that's all we need and eventually if we do use the, the bonus uh, skill levels we can even spend points into flying picks for the endurance recharge rate. That's all we would need there. I think it's pretty clear why we're taking this, just for the relic active skill cooldowns, no other reason. And that's kind of it for the skills, next you're gonna see the pet skills, the relic skills and the suggested items to go for. There is not much to say about, about pet skills, I mean I really like deadlier strikes for the crit chance. If you think you've got enough crit chance in your items you can always get block chance. Uh, if you're not wearing a shield and you wanna max it to 40 or you can get movement speed. But I've seen those three, those three skills don't seem to be dropping for anyone. If anyone has gotten either of those three since the early access started, do let me know but I see people complaining that they are not getting those three, so maybe running partner you cannot get. I strongly suggest getting healing friendship, it can save you sometimes. And I do like uh, the screeching stun, especially knowing that uh, you do extra damage to stunned targets, so it's a good synergy. I do wish this was instead of immobilized, this was slow. I think we need slowing uh, skill on the pet. If there was a slowing skill added in the future, you would wanna uh, use it. Uh, so yeah, ideally I would probably go for deadlier strikes, uh, battle cry or defensive posture in this slot, then screeching stun and then healing friendship. This is my ideal setup for, uh, for this build. 
Now, enough of that, let's show you some item talking, uh, item suggestions and so on. For the relic, uh, as you've seen uh, the screenshots earlier, uh, I would suggest uh, the whitening relic, which would be with 10 points in this part here, and 10 points here, and then uh, 10 points here. Uh, for the Bane, if you do, do decide to go for a Bane, I would suggest first get 10 points here, then get 10 points here, then get 10 points here, and then get 10 points here. And after that, uh, it's gonna be up to you what you want to level. Uh, you might want to go, go for some of those if you would be using it more often, or you might want to go for more chance to summon sp spiders or more spiders, it's up to you. Uh, but the, ma the major thing would be first this 10, then this 10, and then this 10. This one would be very nice, and then at the end after that this 10. Um, spread of that is not bad for extra AoE damage, and this one is very nice uh, for damage when you when you boost it. Look, you can see I've got 252% weapon damage for 4 seconds. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth it, and this can stack up to 3 times. So it's still pretty, pretty neat. So that's it for the relic. Again, if you go for an electrode, uh, let's quickly go through the electrode. If you go for an electrode, uh, you get uh, 10 points here first, then 10 points here uh, next, or maybe first 10 points here, then 10 points here. Uh, then I would suggest 10 points uh, Actually no, never mind. First the first the cooldown here, then the 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 chance here, then the damage here, and then the damage here. That's how I would do an electrode myself um, for this guy, guy in the 40 points. And then after that, you might want to go for uh, deadlier bolts, uh, damage or chance. Uh, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do it one way or another. I think the relic should be optional. And for a flaming destroyer, I would go for chance here. Then I would go for Lingering Blaze. Uh, then I would go for Fire Starter, Chance, and then eventually probably go f Smolder and uh, destroy more. Because this one doesn't seem to proc and work right now, so I would avoid it until it's fixed. But I'm assuming very soon that would get fixed. And I'm not gonna go through the setup for the other ones, but uh, hopefully that helps you. Now let's move on to the pet skills. For the gear in general, there are certain stats to look for in gear. I'm gonna quickly list some of the stats you might want to. First off, uh, if you do see something with uh, percent bonus to slammer skills, which uh, I don't think... Oh yeah, this one, percent damage with slammer skills. Uh, this is great. Uh, if you find it, use it. Then you are using for things like... Uh, uh, you're looking for things like flat damage. So, like, flat physical, flat poison, etc. It goes very well. If you're using flat poison in your weapon, uh, look for things that give you percent bonus to poison damage. And that's only after level 20 or so. Before that, this flat poison won't be better... Uh, this, this percent... Uh, Poison won't be better than flat poison or flat physical or flat ice or whatever. So the percent bonus to the damage you're using as your major source is uh, very strong when you are using two-handed items and have higher bases. Things like uh, flat damage of course are nice. He here I'm using uh, 128 ice damage. Ideally this would have been um, poison and ideally instead of uh, chance to poison and crit chance versus poison I probably would have gotten some poison damage here but I couldn't. Then things like gear work or plus one to a certain skill are amazing to look for in items. Gear work does not mean chance to find a good item. Gear work means chance to find items. So uh, the limit is 100, which means with 100% you're going to be finding items uh, two times more often. So whenever you kill an enemy, uh, if you see that wookie, it's either wookie to get an item or wookie to get gold drop from it. Uh, but that's kind of how it works. It's not magic find, it's item find. Um, so it's not uh, quality, it's quantity. Uh, just to clarify this. So apart from that you're looking for um, HP, defense, relic active skill cooldown, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Uh, even relic skill cooldown is not bad if you want to be using your relic more often. 
And then endurance uh, endurance regeneration rate is pretty nice as well if you're using a offhand weapon and want to be more spammy but uh, it's not something that's that important then chance to poison chance to bleed or burn chance to stun slow blind those are amazing especially chance to stun slow blind it's gonna give you that 65 percent uh, um, damage uh, that you get from a tier 2 lantern lantern flash then um for the chance to burn, um, bleed, uh, poison, you want those dots, but they, they shouldn't be that big of a priority, but you want them um, for that extra damage, especially if you're using a specific relic, you would want um, the chance to burn on the flaming destroyer, poison on the bane, uh, shock on the, on the electrode, uh, bleed on the, on the blood drinker and so on. So do try to get it but uh, i would prioritize things like slow if you can slow is definitely gonna be nice so four legendaries that you want to look for uh for the pet this is not bad chance to refresh cooldown of pets active skills is not bad uh pet returns from fleeing faster i wouldn't suggest unless you think your pet would be dying i would pretty much suggest going for this one item for the pet uh, let me show you in the legendarium for um for the one that uh, gets it return, I think it's Coat of Barter, a uh, token of rapid bartering. Pet returns 90% faster from the town. So instead of 130 seconds, it should be 13 seconds travel time. Pretty, pretty solid. So you can send your pet to the town more often. There's other things such as this one for summoning and so on, but I, I'd, I'd not suggest going for that one. Um, so yeah, for the pet items it's not that uh, important, but here's the important things. I would suggest a Blast Breaker, I would suggest a Berserk Crusher or a Centrifugal Demolisher in the in the Legendarium and you, uh, you would ideally be wearing one of those two rail hammers, a Berserk Crusher or a Centrifugal Demolisher. Wear one, uh, then put uh, in the legendarium the other together with the blast breaker and the egg of wonder if you're not focusing on the relic active skill you can remove the egg of wonder and then uh, put whatever uh, else you think would be nice maybe cosmic helmet but keep in mind if you have a cosmic helmet you're only gonna get one level if you're wearing it and have three pieces you're gonna get two levels of the conductor skills um, the cosmic breastplate you would really want to be wearing. You would want to be wearing a cosmic breastplate. Uh, and you would uh, really want to be wearing... Uh, uh, maybe the cosmic pants to regenerate uh, endurance when you use your relic uh, active skill. It should say active skill here. Um, then this one is really nice. Cosmic Powdrons, uh, Enchanted Rail Hammer. It's not a must have, but I would suggest wearing it. So if you have to pick three pieces, I would suggest uh, select the chest uh, the chest piece, maybe the, the pants and maybe the shoulders uh, from the Cosmic set. Because, as I said, the helmet is only for the conductor skills and you're only... only uh, going for conductor uh, for one conductor skill you can still save two points but is it worth it uh, when you can get other helmets uh, such as for example um, I think the arc powered might be something worth it actually no the helmets the helmets are just grinding shrines uh, grounding shrine and the poison shrine and the other shrine so it's up to you which helmet you're using I guess just wear whatever you've got best but um, yeah, make sure to be wearing the shoulders, the chest, and and maybe the legs of the cosmic set. The rest is uh, is entirely up to you. You can have uh, some poison synergies. You can have some some uh, wood beast synergies. You can have the arc synergies. There's great things there. But uh, I think the it's most important to just get those uh, three items: the blast breaker. Um, the Berserk Crusher and the Centrifugal Demolisher together with Egg of Wonder and hopefully wear one of the two-handed items. Um, so that's kind of it I guess for the items that I would suggest uh, going for. Uh, next uh, let's let's show you some some more gameplay. 
So here we are at the segment where I show you a little bit more gameplay of the build and I talk about how I like to rotate the skills. There are three versions of uh, how uh, I rotate the skills. One of them would be leading with uh, spike drive, the other one leading with busting charge and the third one leading with uh, um, lantern flash uh, for the first skill that we use. With spike drive you're immediately getting that swell and that bonus but you're using an endurance charge but then you can use another skill quickly in succession to get that endurance charge if you have a full endurance so it's pretty nice uh, as a leading if you have full endurance to be able to immediately follow up with uh, with the second spike drive, drive after you use the endurance. So that one would be probably spike drive then you use uh, uh, the busting charge and then lantern flash to use uh, uh, endurance or pounce to use endurance um, it's up to you which one you select and then another spike drive the other rotation would be to uh, start with busting charge then use uh, maybe the swole from spike drive then use lantern flash and then a pound uh, or you can start with the lantern flash then immediately spike drive or maybe lantern flash and then um, busting charge and then spike drive there are many ways I mean uh, it's not just those rotations I told you there's various options how to do it but keep in mind uh, using spike drive slows them using lantern flash blinds them and uh, using uh, the busting charge makes them vulnerable so whether you want to make them vulnerable before uh, blinding or slowing them it's entirely up to you uh, so if you don't want to do more damage with the blasting charge you could probably lead with that then follow up with spike drive and then uh, the lantern flash uh, and then the pound and then another spike drive so hopefully this is clear hopefully you are having fun with this setup it's pretty strong and pretty nice even without good items if you want to get notified for more content about this game or others like it or various different types of uh, RPGs, say RPGs, tactical RPGs, all sorts of RPGs or uh, other types of looters, uh, uh, you could subscribe to my channel, get uh, that bell button click to, to not miss those notifications. Thanks again for watching the video folks, uh, keep it cool and until next time, uh, goodbye.